We received your phone calls and we read your emails. A long wait caused anxious hours for some parents. Uh, they tell us that they didn't see their kids until 6 o'clock hours after they should have been home from school. On your side's Brianna Ray Turner spoke with parents about what caused the long wait on the first day of school. Brianna. Yes, Anthony, you said it. We've received many calls, many emails, and parents are just wondering what exactly is going on with the bus delays. They wish they were notified beforehand before school started about what's happening with the bus delays. But a lot of parents, many parents are thinking about going back to driving their kids to school and picking them up. Tuesday was the first day of school for students attending Duval County Public Schools. Kids get out at 3 p.m., but some parents say their children didn't get dropped off by the bus stop until after 5. Y'all are responsible for our children eight hours a day between the schools and the buses. Like, y'all were responsible for making sure they got to where they needed to be safely and promptly. Rebecca Emery has an eight year old son with autism who attends Waterleaf Elementary. She says she panicked when her son's bus didn't show up at its normal time. My right. son's disabled and if he got dropped off at the wrong place, he wouldn't know how to get home. He wouldn't know how to reach me. He doesn't know our new address very well yet. Emery says she called the school many times and didn't receive a response. And she's not alone. A similar situation happened with Lori Ann Helgeson. One of her sons is a seventh grader at Fort Caroline Middle School and the bus dropped him off after 7 p.m. When he wasn't texting back, I'm like, hello, what's going on? Mom needs to know what's going on. But had I not had a phone with him, I would have been just beside myself. I reached out to Student Transportation of America, who has been partners with DCPS since 2009, and they sent First Coast News this statement. Due to unforeseen pandemic challenges that exacerbated an existing industry-wide driver shortage, including many unanticipated retirements and a limited applicant pool of new recruits, SDA is currently experiencing a shortage of eligible bus drivers for the 2021-2022 school year. I understand that there's shortages. I'm patient and understanding of that. Just keep us in the loop with some communication. That's the biggest thing. STA says they made significant investments in recruiting people. They're actively hiring people. And actually, um, the good news is that they're training new bus drivers. I'm live in Jacksonville. Brianna Ray Turner, First Coast News on your side.